This is going to be a demonstration on uh, projecting textures onto a um, mesh in Photoshop. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up Photoshop and let it load. But the first thing you need to do in Maya is that we need to make sure that we can export it as a um, correct file format that Photoshop can read. So in order to do that at the top of the screen here, go to go to Windows, Settings Preferences, Plugin Manager. Scroll down until you see something that says OBJ Exporter, something similar to that. OBJ Export Bundle, click Load, Loaded and Auto Load. Uh, go ahead and hit Refresh, you don't have to, I just do anyway because the button's there. And then hit Close. And now I'm just going to create a uh, polygon and a polyplane actually and I'm just going to scale it larger and in here just to make sure you can have your UV set up however you want in this case I'm just going to leave it the default um, I'm using a polyplane because it fills up the entire area of my UV uh, map here in my editor so from this point I've got my scaled polyplane and I'm just going to simply file and go to export or export selection in this case um, and files of type here go to OBJ export and it should appear there since we just changed it in the plugin manager and go ahead and name it whatever you'd like I'm gonna call it polyplane projection and I'm gonna export now in Photoshop, I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to simply find my polyplane projection, OBJ, and hit Open. And I'm just going to leave all this default and hit OK. And it's going to say Reading File Format. Um, generally, if it's the first time you've ever opened a 3D object, um, it's going to ask you if you'd like to switch to a 3D format or 3D layout and that's simply up here in the top right corner where you see mine says 3D. Okay, so then you get this, your um, very first tool, the move tool in this case is going to rotate and move around your scene in the 3D volume and you'll see here it's got textures uh, linked to it down here and it's got some image based lighting. We're not going to worry about the lighting one. Go ahead and just double click on here and here's your UV map. It breaks down into triangles as a game engine would if you were to import it into a game engine or something. Um, so, or just change, model it in, tri in triangles versus quads. Um, but anyway, here's the uh, object. And I'm simply just going to start projecting some images on it. Uh, I'm going to open. Uh, I got a concrete texture here, so I'm going to open it and copy it and go back here. I'm going to hit Command V, and you'll notice I'm no longer in a 3D space because I have this overlaying here. And I can resize it, however, and you'll see that the object's still there. Um, and you can also just project it down on the mesh. In order to do that, right click on your layer 2 and just click Merge Down and it'll project directly on it. And if you go back to your default texture, you'll see you have that texture on there. Um, I'll go ahead and in here, in my texture, I'm going to hit New Layer just to show you something. And I'm going to open up my um, other texture I've got here, Sidewalk Texture. And it's large, so I'm going to need to resize it, but I'm going to copy it and paste it in here. Command T, and I'm going to just simply resize it and start putting it into place over here, maybe a little bit smaller, something like this. And when I go back here, you'll see that it updates it right here live. So if I were to, let's just say I wanted to project it on here, 
instead of just placing it inside the UVs inside that and let it update there, and maybe I really want to do something intricate where I need to um, project the texture on there. It's really great for um, creating seamless uh, textures because it'll, Photoshop doesn't do the best job, but it does a really great job to start with. So it's a great starting point for that. Um, and if I were to just go ahead and simply start to project it down, I'll say that's pretty good. I'll right click on here and I'll hit merge with merge down. And now you'll see it merges directly or goes directly onto the uh, UVs here. And you could literally do this with anything. Um, it could be any type of texture you want. Um, by going back in here into Maya, you'll notice it doesn't update it live inside the scene here. So what you need to do is obviously you need to save this out just like any other texture. Go File, Save As, inside this texture file, and go to save it out. And by default, it'll be a different file format than you're used to seeing. Uh, it's not even a Photoshop file. It's a PSV. Um, it's a large document format for um, Photoshop uh, for the OBJ and 3D format specifically. Uh, it's the only time I've ever seen it anyway. Um, and I'm going to save this out as uh, TGA and I'm going to rename it Street Projection Texture. And I'm going to change it to 32 bits and hit OK. And in Maya, I'll go to my Lambert or just assign new material. I'll make it a Lambert. So I keep my default Lambert 1 gray. Um, my Lambert 2, I'll change the file, locate it, and street projection, hit open. And make sure you hit 6, and there's the texture. And you'll see that it's um, projected right on there. Um, yeah, so that's really all there is to it. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.